Hello guys, welcome to CSS Selector tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to look into more pseudo classes uh, and the classes that we are going to look into is uh, the first of type, last of type and nth of type. So in the previous uh, tutorial, we have seen the pseudo classes which were basically the first child, last child, nth child and nth last child. Now, these were more of uh, dependent on the position and the current one which is basically more of the type so based on the type that you select or the tag that you select so say for example you selected the div so div is one type or option is uh, option node is one type so these pseudo classes will select uh, based on the type of the web element node that you are going to select so let's go to the salesforce.com developer sign up page and understand these pseudo classes as well right so let me remove this and here let me refresh this page okay so on this elements let me select this particular node here which says form with id dr form because there are multiple tags below it with with the tag input and then there are divs okay and then there are label so this will uh, help us in understanding the first of type okay because in the type what we are more interested in to selecting the type of the node below the parent node okay so let's start writing our CSS selector for that. So I'll start with the form and the ID is Diog form. So I'll simply say the tag name, uh, the tag there and the ID uh, referred by the hash and Diog form. So now you can see that particular element has been highlighted the whole thing in the yellow. And now the first of type nth of type or last of type is basically to select the nodes that are below this particular parent of and are of particular type say for example a type of input or a type is uh, div or type is label okay so that's what you can achieve with the uh, the type pseudo class so uh, first of type or last of type so below this particular parent uh, if i want to select a child which is of type input right so it, as soon as i write input you can see that nine nodes are selected below this particular parent but i want to select the first of type input okay so i'll just say colon and i'll say first of um, type and now you can see that first of input type below the form node with id d or form has been selected okay so that's the ba basically uh, advantage of using the type because below a particular parent node there could be multiple um, there could be different types of web elements and you might be interested in one particular type selecting one particular type which ha which doesn't have any unique attributes so in, in those sort of scenarios this will be helpful now with the last of type you just change it to the last of type and you can see that last input node has been selected right and similarly nth of type is what you have to specify the argument there say for example I want to select the second um, value or the second node with type input right so you can see I specified the second or number two as an argument and it has highlighted the second one if I want to select the fourth one I'll just change it to the fourth one and the fourth element has been highlighted so that's basically how you use the first of type um, last of type or nth of type uh, if you want to cha change or choose any other types so for example I want to choose div below this particular parent then I just change it to div okay and I'll change it to first of type so that you can see that first div below that particular parent has been selected so now you can see that this is the parent 
these are all the nodes which are of input type this is the first div type that has been selected similarly if you want to change it to uh, some other node or last of type you can simply play around and understand a lot more about these pseudo classes which is first of type last of type and nth of type now please remember that with all these fundamentals um, when whenever you're using these to figure out your selenium uh, web element locators using css selector or xpath which i have covered in the xpath tutorial series and there are other uh, locator strategies that i have uh, explained in the robot framework tutorial please go through all these strategies uh, all the all these videos to understand what all has been explained how you can utilize the mix and match of these strategies to figure out the web element easily uh, the the path for the web element easily and this can be helpful now uh, another thing to remember is that not all the web element locators that you will be writing will be working in your um, you know it's not 100 percent sure that they'll work in all the circumstances so basically you have to um, do a mix and match you you need to try utilizing all these concepts write your expert in a different way to make sure that your css selector uh, or xpath or any other locator strategy that has been explained will work for you in your web automation so that's pretty much all about the CSS, Selenium CSS selector, pseudo classes, first of type, last of type, and nth of type. Hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.